Hey y'all, it's Andy. Y'all, I'm cutting a little bit close on this one. <laughs> um, usually I've got these thirsty salts at least a couple of weeks out, sometimes three and four weeks out done in advance, but it's Tuesday night about 8.30 now, and I'm just now getting to it. <laughs> um, like everybody else, we had single digit temperatures and ice and snow everything shut down I could barely make it out the driveway for a few days and when I could make it up out the driveway I was sliding sideways pretty good doing it <laughs> but we actually made it up to 70 degrees today and I was enjoying that if y'all hear anything in the background that's uh got some baby chicks starting to hatch and I got four hatched out in the incubator over yonder and a few more eggs starting to move around and starting to pip open there so that's a good thing and kind of got me thinking uh springs on the way y'all it's almost here y'all I cannot wait um a lot of my older subscribers know and if you've been around for the last year or so y'all know um most of last spring and last summer and in the last fall even the winter before this last one. My health wasn't exactly the best, and all this last spring and summer, I was in and out the hospital. Finally got done with all that about middle ways through fall. So I pretty much missed all the spring and summer and about half of fall last year. So I've really been missing spring and summer, y'all. <laughs> um, y'all. Don't ever take spring and summer for granted. I can't wait for it to get here, y'all. Like I said, I've got baby chicks hatching out already. I've got a pretty good pepper seed order from Baker's Creek on the way. Um, it's already been ordering on the mail, but that, like a whole lot of things, that big old ice storm everybody went through, well, it kind of messed with the post office, I reckon, too, along with everything else that's been going on, and my seeds just ain't got here yet, but at least they on the way. <laughs> so as soon as they get here, I'm excited about getting them started and getting the garden ready for this coming spring and summer. I'm really excited about that because I wasn't able to do a garden at all last year. And, well, don't take it for granted, y'all. Just the simple little things, something as little as taking a ride down a back road somewhere in the spring and summertime y'all or in the fall when you get to see everything all greened up and see your own garden and everybody else's gardens growing real good and all pretty and everything's green all the little baby chickens and ducks and everything and little baby pigs and all that running around in the springtime and don't take that for granted I missed out on all that last year, and I ain't about to miss out on it this year. But anyways, um, you never know how much the little things like that really mean to you till, till you miss out on it. And this this winter, it was getting to me pretty good because, like I said, I spent. Ended up having to spend most of the spring and summer and had to fall in the hospital, so the closest I got to seeing anything green was the green traffic lights and the couple of trees that I seen out to one of the hospital rooms. <laughs> but um I am not complaining. I have I have been at the hospital, my health is good, all the doctors have said I'm good. Um other than just six month checkups that I'm coming up for in about another four months or so, I don't have to go back to the doctors unless something goes wrong. And I start feeling something that ain't right, but other than that, I ain't felt nothing wrong, so I'm doing good. And doctor said, unless you feel something wrong, don't come back. So I'm good on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you never know how much you miss little things like that till you really miss out on it. and 
like I said, actually getting back home. Winter started not long after that, and everything's cold and raining and dreary and muddy and snowing for a week straight, apparently, this year. <laughs> um, but, like I said, spring and summer is coming soon, and I cannot wait. And I'm going to be taking advantage of every single little minute of it. Oh, uh, one more good piece of news. I finally got me a shop coming, y'all. <laughs> Put the money down on it and signed the papers and everything on it. Uh, let's see. About a week and a half, two weeks ago, right before the storms hit. Um, it is a 12 foot by 24 foot, uh, metal shop. You know, one of the portable buildings where they'll bring it on the truck and drop it off videos to come on that but here in about another four or five weeks or so at the latest I'll have me a shop and actually be able to start getting stuff done and built and all that kind of stuff no matter whether it's raining or sunny or hot or cold or whatever night time or what <laughs> so I'm really happy about that too so anyways um I don't know, I reckon I ain't really got too many thoughts for today, just more of kind of a, kind of an update on things, and, well, one little thought, I reckon, you know, the whole don't take nothing for granted thing, and enjoy it while you can. That's, uh, that's something that really hit home for me that I'm really learning to do. So, anyways, um, oh yeah, I done rambled on for about seven minutes already. <laughs> like I said, it is, uh, about 8.30 now, a little bit after, yeah, a little bit after, so, uh, I gotta get my butt in bed here in a little while, because I gotta get up early in the morning. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I reckon I'm gonna call the video here before I just sit here and ramble on too long. So, uh, thank y'all for watching. God bless. Hope y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all on the next video.